Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another Monsters video. So in today's video, I'm back with another monster review. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the monster of Friday. So this mythic was um, available in the most recent team race, but um, I am able to do a monster review on it up to rank 3, level 130, and I'm going to go on and showcase this monster for you guys in battle, uh, how to use it correctly, and also the best skills, the best strings, the best relics, and everything you need to know about this monster. So I hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you are, drop a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications on. Anyways, let's go on and get started. Alright, so huge thanks to Sammy for letting me borrow his account, but um, yeah, he let me use his account to review this monster for you guys up to rank 3, because my team, we went for uh, just the egg, so basically level 100, okay? Uh, but his team went for rank 3 so I'll be able to um, you know showcase this monster uh, basically at rank 3 where you have the status caster area 50 shield and basically everything unlocked you know what I mean so first you have grip digger so this is basically giving you immune to possession corruption and nightmare it's actually pretty good it reminds me of that one other monster that was a that was in the team race it was like a while ago it was one of the legendary monsters you guys can let me know in the comments down below it was like a dark monster that had this um, trait Anyways, rank 1 you have tough. This is actually a pretty good trait to have. And then at rank 3 you have status caster area 50% shield. So this is actually a area 50% shield, not just for yourself. It's area. So all your allies and your team, including Elferde and let's say the other two monsters you paired up with, they'll start off with 50% shield, which is really, really good. So if you could get this monster to rank 3, it'd be best. Uh, because you can literally start off with 50% life shield on all your allies, which is really good. So the enemy, I mean, if there isn't a fast monster, like for example, Frozenauts or any other monsters that is super fast and takes the turn um, right after or first, they can go ahead and cleanse it. Because remember, it's not like some type of trait. It's literally a status gasser, okay? So it can be cleansed. Um, also watch out from a Spectra with full speed with uh, Dispelling Fist because uh, the enemy could just use Falling Fire like an AoE scale, right? And it, it could pierce through and get rid of that 50% shield. So you have to watch out from that. Uh, but in that, it's uh, it's really good. Trait-wise, I really like it. Let's go ahead and get into the skills. So here are the skills that he went with. Uh, Sammy went with. Uh, you've got Reverse Iron Maiden. So this is a 50% damage mirror and 50% life shield to all allies. It blocks out 50% of the incoming damage for all allies. This is actually a really good skill, I've got to say. This is really, really good. Okay, kind of reminds me of Rodden skill, um, and also the other monster, uh, Mojadrak. Kind of better though, because there's a 50% damage mirror. Then you also have Death Ward, which is a 50% life shield and blocks out 50% of the incoming damage to all allies. It's really good. You also have uh, this Rex skill, which is a 25% chance of killing an enemy, 5% chance of its if it's a boss, and also it applies life regen to yourself. So life regen will last for three turns. Now, 25% chance of killing an enemy, that that's like a lottery, okay? <laughs> it's like a lottery. It might land, it might not, and you know, it might not kill the enemy. 5% chance of it's a boss. Uh, maybe it'll work out against, you know, the bounty hunt monster. Who knows? Maybe it won't. Maybe, um, you know, you could use this monster in, for example, adventure map. If you haven't completed adventure map, you can literally use that 5% chance. So it'll take you a while, but it, it might end up working. And, you know, that 5% chance get land and you can get rid of the enemy. Then you also have Iron Casket, which is a 100% life shield to an ally. I recommend using this. I like that he's running this because, look, it's a zero cooldown. And also zero stamina, right? So zero cooldown, zero stamina. You can continue spamming this as much as you want. So whenever you need it, you can go ahead and apply it to whoever you want. Now comparing, or not compare, um, pairing this monster up with uh, like a tank, like a Megaton or something. Doesn't have to be a Megaton, but a Megaton or any other tanks. You can go ahead and pair it up with them. And you can spam this shield as much as you want. And also these other two shield skills right here. So it's just shield, damage section, shield, damage section, and also 50% damage here. Okay, uh, your ult is a, it's called Breath of the Damned, Damned, I don't know. Uh, it's a 50% chance of killing an enemy, 20% chance of killing a boss, and it applies poison, curse, and nightmares. Not uh, nightmares, sorry, nanovirus. These three tortures are going to be nice. Okay, so you can deal quite a lot of damage with these three, especially curse because it basically doubles up every turn. Um, but 50% chance of killing an enemy, that's really good. So... Yeah, it's like 50-50 chance, and then 20% if it's a boss. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the other skills. You have Arcane Wither. So this is a heavy dark damage to one enemy, applies Nanovirus and Curse. So if you want to use this, you can. Uh, you also have this other skill, the Decay, which is a moderate metal damage to all enemies, applies Nanovirus. 
So basically it blocks positive status effects. You can use any against any supporters if they can't end up cleansing it. Uh, you know, it basically blocks all their positive status effects. You know, if they wanted to apply life regen or something like that, it won't work. They also have Arcane Smite, which is a moderate dark damage to one enemy applies curse to one enemy. So here's the thing, guys. You can run this monster as an attacker, okay? Or you can go ahead and run as a supporter. I highly recommend running it as a supporter because you have damage section skills, damage mirror, uh, shield skills, so much. It's just really good. Okay, so I highly recommend running it as a um, supporter with the shields and everything like that. And uh, since it's a supporter, you're like, you should probably have team speeds, right? No, have speed range. You can also play around with team speeds, but speed should do it. Triple speed. So if you have triple speed, doesn't matter what level, go ahead and give it. Um, but... Yeah, you just need to start off with the reverse and the reverse iron, the skill right here, which applies damage section, shields, and also damage here. You start off with that, and then later on, you can go ahead and spam this. And let me see the cooldowns here. So this is a two-turn cooldown, two-turn. So you can't, unfortunately, you can't cycle this, can you? You can't. Two-turn, two-turn. Um, and maybe you can use like iron casket for one turn, and then you can start cycling this again. Go with reverse, death, and then iron. Um, let me see the relics. What do you have? You have armor. Okay, and then you also have shield. That's actually really good, but you know what? I feel like a staff would have been nice for this instead of a shield. Like armor was already enough, so or if it was shields, then don't give armor. If it was armor, don't give shield because you already start off with the 50% shield anyways. But I get it, you know, if some players won't be able to get this monster to rank, um, for example, can get it to rank 3 and have that status caster, so it makes sense. But uh, for those of you that can, or for those who can, it sucks for them, right? Because I feel like a staff would have been better. Uh, so you can just continue spamming your shield, your um, other stuff. But you can also pair this monster up with like Jakuna High or any other monsters that can hold a staff. So then uh, whenever you need stamina, hey, it kicks in. You're good. You know what I mean? So I think what I'll do... Is I'll go with like a Wangsu shield or something like that. After being damaged by a skill, if Warrior's life is below 75%, it removes. Yeah, okay. So you can go with Wangsu shield. You can also go with Tenacity shield. And um, there's also Fullman's shield if you want to go with that as well. So there are a couple options there. For armor, I recommend giving Morse armor since it's already equipped. I'm not going to unequip it, but Morse armor works well. Um, Nebuzos armor, I guess you could go with that if you want to, but Morse armor is best. Uh, also, Root Shell's armor. If you have Root Shell's armor, give it. Okay, so uh, for Officer Talents, he went with Crystal Form. After being damaged by skill, heals Warrior by that many points and gains Skill Mirror. Yeah, you can go with this. You can also run some other ones like, for example, Mud Body. If you have Mud Body, give that Officer Talent. Um, and other than that, I mean, you can play around and give some more obscure talents, but don't give anything like Unrouting Assault. Don't give like Dispelling Fist or anything like that. No, Dispelling Fist would be dumb unless you're probably going to run one of these skills and you know what you're doing. But um, like if you're coming with a play, then sure. You know, if you have a play, go ahead. But Dispelling Fist, if you're going to be running these type of skills, it's just silly. Why would you run it? You know, same with Unrouting Assault. Uh, but full speed works best, guys. And now let's go ahead and review the um, stats, guys. So 14,015 power. You don't have to worry about the power. Um, we're not going to be running this attacker. Uh, but take a look at this. 178,793 life. Now that life, it's insane. That life comparing it to the other corrupted monsters, it is insane. On the other hand, for speed, you have 8,804 at rank 3. 3 and a half-ish. Okay, 3 and a quarter, I guess you could say. 132. That's not good. I've already seen it at level 100 as well, and it's just, no. Unfortunately, this monster's speed is pretty terrible. But other than that, you got a good amount of life, you know? But unfortunately, your speed, yeah, you're lacking, so I recommend giving in full speed. Alright, so take a look at this. We're facing this player. Uh, apparently, it has a soul drag on Mass Red, so we're going to have to watch out from that. There's Pain the Stiller, and then there's also Static Shock. Okay, so I should be able to take in the first turn, right? 21,000 speed. 21,218. Never mind. You're taking the first turn and you have soul drag. So we'll be fine. You're just going to go ahead and use your uh, cleanse skill, most likely. Or that. Okay. That's interesting. So take a look at this. Okay. So I start off with the 50% uh, life shield. So basically, everybody has medium shield right now because um, thanks to his status caster, as you guys can see, 
that status guesser is helping out and uh not just that but um i could basically apply this damage meter and also um the damage section so my tank and everyone else will have the damage section and also the shield and everything like that so what i can do here uh let me go ahead and go with no a single target is not enough ua won't kick in let me see nope okay so you know what i'll do i'll actually hit you guys with um i'll hit you with mad whispers okay let's go ahead and do that ua kicked in okay cool and i'll hit you with lord although i should be able to counter soul drag you want to kick in yeah it's weak anyways because of dark to dark you know um but i'll go ahead and do mad whispers you wake kick thin dealt some more damage there and i'll go ahead and take it easy on you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and charge up and take a look at it i still have the damage trainer i still have the shield and everything but it can be cleansed yeah it can be cleansed so any monsters like jacuna hire or anyone else frozy not for example when they take the turn they can actually cleanse that so you have to watch out but this one right here, it has a 25% of chance, it, like, it has a 25% chance of killing an enemy. So let's see if this actually works. Okay, we're gonna try it on Boronaut. 25% chance, yeah, it kicked in, and, uh, well, GG's Boronaut, you're dead. So, you see, it doesn't matter their life amount, it could be literally millions. I'm not sure if billion is possible, I doubt it, but if somehow in your future it's gonna be billions, and, uh... You know, you just use this monster and you can, you know, take it down. Thanks to that 25% chance. So, looks like what I can do here is use Death Ward, right? I really need it. Everybody needs it. The damage section, shield, and everything. And I'll go ahead and hit you with this and get rid of you. And it's a GG's. So, really good monster. You just have to go with full speed because it is lacking on speed very badly. So,. Giving full speed on this monster would be really, really nice. Um, but let's see who else we're going to face here. So this one has a soul drag on the tank. It's a 130 though, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I take in the first turn, and once again, you got to start off with reverse iron. Because you want that 50% at damage section, also the 50% at damage mirror. The shield will already be applied if you have a rank 3. But if you don't have a rank 3, then you can go ahead and use the same exact skill. Don't change anything up, because it'll still kick in. It'll still be fine. All right. UA kick then Kane Zord. Oh yeah, it's not a rank five, so it won't deal. Um, it won't deal enough to get rid of that attacker. You know the UA. It deals 40k instead of 60k. But we took down one of the monsters. Um, we can go ahead and eliminate you, and you know, counter soul drag. Yeah, we can counter soul drag. So put it on four speed. There you go. Now go ahead and charge up. Soul faint. It's okay, so it got cleansed, but I can just go ahead and apply it again. And let's see if this actually works again. You guys ready? The 25% chance? Probably not. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay. So yeah, guys, it's not going to land every single time. It will land uh, whenever it wants to land, okay? So there's a 25% chance, and then you have a 75% chance that it'll miss, okay? It's a 75% chance that it will miss. Uh, but I can spam this 100% uh, shield every time, like whenever I want. So look at that. 100% shield, they give me 322k life, basically. And bam, we eliminated and also won that. So super nice monster, I've got to say. It's a pretty decent one. It's a pretty decent one. It's just that the speed sucks. If the speed was really good, maybe your team would have went for a high amount of laps. But hey, that doesn't mean this monster sucks, okay? It's still good. And I highly recommend running it as a supporter once again with these skills. Don't go with anything else. I also really like the Iron Casket because, uh, once again, it's a spammable skill. You don't need any stamina, and also it's pretty good against CDA, okay? Um, but if you're going to run it as an attacker and you know what you're doing, then go ahead and do so. But other than that, once again, run it with full speed with these four skills here that's already equipped. So if you want to copy this, you can. 
um, and once again runes need to be full speed and relics you can go with something like this and also for the Alps talents you can go with crystal form, mud body and there are a couple more of course um, but don't give anything like dispelling fist or haunting assault unless you're going to run these four skills here then I guess you can go ahead and run haunting assault or something. But anyways guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's monster, just monster review on the Monster of Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed, hit the drop a like and also share the channel notifications on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.